the Louvre à Abu Dhabi was conceived as part of a proud boast that the oil-rich emirate had arrived. It finally opened to the public this weekend four years late, hundreds of millions of dollars over budget, and having shown an unwelcome spotlight on the Gulf state's ruthless exploitation of immigrant laborers. Hovering like a storybook UFO above the sandy plains of Abu Dhabi's Sada Yat Island, a wash of sand reclaimed from the Arabian Sea, the giant dome of the new Louvre Abu Dhabi has been designed to send a message to the world about the Arab Emirates' perceived place in it. This weekend, after a decade of false starts and missed targets, the Louvre Abu Dhabi, which enjoys the use of the venerable Parisian institution's name, curators and even access to its works in a 30-year deal worth over $700 million to the French state, is finally throwing its doors open to the public. There seems little doubt that regional residents and international visitors will flock to the new Louvre, attracted as much by the elegant ambition of the building's French architect, Jean Nouvelle, as the promise of viewing show-stopping works by artists as diverse as IYY, Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko, Henri Matisse, and Vincent van Gogh. But the opening of the Louvre is, perversely, calling attention to the horrendous abuses meted out to the migrant laborers, largely poor Indians, who do over 90% of construction work in the Middle East, and are routinely denied rights that would be considered a basic minimum in Western economies, as well as drawing fresh attention the big picture failures and shortcomings of the Abu Dhabi government's Sada Yad Island project. Had things gone according to plan, it wouldn't just be the latticed cupola of the Louvre nestling under the bright blue Arabian sky this weekend. For Sada Yad Island was conceived as a dazzling global cultural center, first planned in the great oil boom of 2004 to 2007. The concept included not just the new Louvre but also a franchise of the Guggenheim to be designed by Frank Gehry, the Sheikh Zayed National Museum by Norman Foster, in the shape of a racing falcon's wing in honor of the founding Sheikh's favorite pastime, a maritime museum by Japanese architect Dada Ando rising out of the sea, and a performing arts center by the late Zaha Hadid, resembling nothing so much as a tangle of snakes.